Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video and welcome to a new year. Uh, actually, it's been very long time since we got a new build, a new fresh build. We got some builds on the PC version, but we didn't get builds for quite maybe one month for the mobile and last night we got a new build from the creator's update and uh, the build is the number 15007 uh, like a few days ago we got for PCs 15002 and the people are asking where is the build for the mobile we got 15007 for PC and for mobile uh, and this build brings um, corrections like any other builds uh, one correction is for the Microsoft Edge which previously when I was opening Microsoft Edge uh, you type, for example, let's close everything. When I was opening to, to type a link, it was insta-closing, it was like closing and then the second time it was working. Or if I was typing something um, and then pressing enter, the first time it will never open, uh, then I have to close like, like this and then retype the second time and then it opens. Now it works. There is no like visual changes on the interface but there is visual visual changes uh, on the settings which microsoft has been working on the settings for quite a while let's go into the settings um, i'm gonna show you what's the changes and there is one very good option that they finally bring to us uh, as you can see the settings it might be the, it might be still similar but it's a bit different um, for example you have here apps you see, you see here uninstall defaults it was still like kind of like this but now it's a bit different, uh, they, again, they, for example, uh, if you go in extras, um, touch, it wasn't, it wasn't on extras, here on extras I had like four options maybe, now they rechanged re again these uh, options, um, it's better, but now on apps, uh, we had this feature before, uh, you have apps, and if you go in apps and features, it will show you all the apps that you have installed on your phone, which previously you could only see them, uh, if you go into storage for example this, this still takes uh, some time to show all the apps but this feature you could see only if you go into storage let's go storage if you come into storage and it was only possible to come storage and choose your device or SD card uh, and then here we go into apps and you will see the all the apps installed the change that they made I quite like this change if you go into apps and games we are gonna go into the same uh, option that we were before um, but previously, like I said, the only possible way to come here, it was through storage. And here now, the most awaited feature from me that they added to, to the OS is, let's go for example in the first one, doesn't matter, you still have move and uninstall and you have advanced options. Previously it was there still advanced options, but when you were clicking in advanced options, there wasn't nothing. And now there is storage usage, app, data, total usage and reset button yeah finally i was waiting for this feature so much because there is some apps that even if you uninstall reinstall whatever they never work so by this way you can come here if the app doesn't work you press reset button and it will reset the app and hopefully it will work let's say for example let's go into home for example windows central sometimes windows central is kind of messes up and sometimes open then sometimes just crashes because uh, with the app from the windows central if you go into settings it has here storage used by article cache so sometimes you can go here 2 megabytes 5 megabytes 10 megabytes and the more cache you 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 get the heavier the app gets and how i have the app installed on the sd card it was many times giving problems and the app wasn't just wasn't opening at all so the only option the only fix for it was to install it on internal memory now it's still on SD card let's go on SD card I'm gonna show you with Windows Central come on let's go on SD card I, I quite like how they revamped these settings uh, the only thing that I still don't like about this is that it still kind of takes some time but this was still a problem from previous and still it's here but I don't really mind this uh, if the options and the apps will work I don't really mind to wait here some time uh, let's go where is it Windows Central uh, I hope it's on SD card <laughs> uh, Windows Central Windows Central it's here let's go advanced options and here you see 
app has 17 megabytes, total usage 17.2 megabytes. Yeah, like was previously. Let's press reset. This will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details, which this is a must because if even if you res even if you uninstall the application and go into store and redownload it, it will still have the bugs that it previously had. So this is a very must. Um, you see here, uh, if the app isn't working right, reset it. Uh, res it resetted and now it has this check mark that it resetted. And the app now has 34 megabytes, which previously had 17. I'm not really sure why it now has more, but whatever. Um, one, this is the mostly changes that they made to this build. Uh, and another thing that I saw, uh, Cortana, yeah, they made again changes to Cortana, but I don't really like to go into Cortana because I mean, I don't really use Cortana, so I'm not really like uh, up to date to the changes from Cortana. Also, the battery, the battery is a bit, a bit bad, but it's it's all right, it's all right. Now, the change that I also saw is, for example, when you go into let's go personalization, which still fine like previously was, but when you go in each uh, op option, now you get you get here an option: uh, need a hand, chat with chat with an agent that can point you to the best help or walk you step by step, contact support, and then was this helpful? Give us feedback. Uh, now this option you have in all, you have in everywhere. Need a hand? Let's go start for example. It, in the hand they they placed this option everywhere. Let's go see in about if they still have this in about. Yeah, need a hand? It's in everywhere. Let's see if we can contact support. What we will get? Will we get to the Windows feedback or it will give it to chat support? Let's see. I didn't test it. Tested it. I'm gonna test it together now. How it's still in uh, in Insider, it might not work, but I see this in in future working fine because it's kind of taking so, some time. But it's really nice that you have like an option to chat with someone from Microsoft if we have a problem or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's taking too much time. I'm not gonna let it. Uh, not gonna waste uh, our time here. But the option is there. It's really cool that they implemented like this option here. We have all the apps installed on phone and SD card, so you don't really need to go to see which apps you have on SD card or which apps you have in SD in, uh, internal memory. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if um, if I missed something. I definitely missed something from Cortana or whatever. Uh, but these are mostly the new features or new changes that uh, they made to this build. Hopefully there will come so so many so many more uh, changes. But yeah, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.